at Carnegie Mellon, the women's team especially has really made a huge turnaround. We, as a program, decided that Carnegie Mellon's not just going to be great at schoolwork. We're finally going to treat ourselves as great athletes. And we made it to the postseason for the first time um, in over a decade. As the senior captain, that's one thing to be extremely proud about. It's really shaped my education. Our athletes here are taking differential equations and, you know, shooting rockets into the sky. And um, when we say that it's actually happening, it's not like, oh yeah, she's a rocket scientist. She's actually a rocket scientist. <laughs> Development economics is focusing on emerging markets and basically poverty situations and how um, we can fix uh, broken markets and how um, Larger countries affect smaller countries. And um, summer after my sophomore year, I actually lived in Sierra Leone for just under two months working with a business venture called Aluma. We work with entrepreneurs who are receiving electricity for the first time to make sure that they use it for productive uses and income generation. So if we can teach you how to use electricity to help your business or help you come up with a new business idea because now you understand the concept of electricity, it really just opens the possibility. Students here at Carnegie Mellon are trained to think a different way, and so I know when I'm in real world situations and everyone's hit a rut, I kind of think to myself, like, wait a second, like, you go to Carnegie Mellon and they, like, you can think differently than this, and you can take a step back and really think about the problem, and I think that I've just been set up to be a problem solver, so I know that in 10 or 20 years I'll still be a problem solver. <laughs>